guests are comedians and writers whom you know from their work on Saturday Night Live, which airs this a Saturday with host Timothy Chalamet and musical guest Boy Genius. They wrote and star in Please Don't Destroy The Treasure of Foggy Mountain, which is streaming on Peacock November 17th. Let's take a look. Go, Mark. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming, by the way. I know it means a lot to him that you're here. Amy, of course. <laughs> what the f is her deal, man? Shut up. She's right next to us. What is her problem? <laughs> she's fine, man. She's she's honestly really nice. It's just, I don't know why Martin is so afraid. He's petrified right now. Looks like he's being held at gunpoint. I know. And what the f is going on with that suit? I don't know, man. It's huge, dude. He looks like the f son. He looks like a pimp in a high school play. I baptize thee. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, you are now baptized. <laughs> that was so good. Please welcome to the show from the comedy group, Please Don't Destroy, Martin Hurley, John Higgins, and Ben Marshall. And such nice timing. I also don't want to compliment you. You were going to come no matter what. We just yep, weren't we going to were. talk about the movie. And as someone with a show, I appreciated that you were not going to leave us scrambling. So we thank love you. Seth Meyers. Oh, well, that's very kind. <laughs> and I've been a huge fan of yours from even before SNL. We were actually uh, talking about working on a project together. Uh, I mean, you guys are still young, but I felt like you were even younger then. That's how <laughs> yeah. time works. Yeah. I remember we were at dinner with you when we got an offer to play our first college. Yeah. At Iowa, Iowa State. State University. Yeah. yeah. And, and we were like, this is going to change our lives. It was the best because you guys were so happy. I remember, I think John got the email and we were in the yeah. middle of dinner and you were like, guys, <laughs> drop everything. Dude. We're dude. going to Iowa. <laughs> at I dinner think... with Seth Meyers. Just like, shut up, shut up. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> Iowa State. <laughs> in their main arena? No, it's like a smaller theater <laughs> in the <laughs> It's gonna be about half full. <laughs> yeah. But I remember, I don't know if you guys remember, I was like, oh, don't try to not forget, this is awesome. Like, as yeah, happy yeah. as you are today, yeah. like, is a, it's a hard thing to hold on to. But much you guys were- Much happier then. Yeah, yeah, much happier then, right? Because yeah. now you're on SNL and you have to fail every week. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or the potential of failure is very yeah. real. This yeah. is the third season for you guys. Uh, I, certainly from watching on the show, um, you guys have an incredible success rate uh, with your shorts, but does it, is it feel more at home now? Maybe yeah. We, oh. <laughs> yeah. We do. Were you gonna yeah, say no? I was gonna say maybe next year, but I. <laughs> I feel more at home in that, like, this is our home because we, like, live here now. Yes, yeah. yes. We stayed here until, like, 6 a.m. two nights ago, so. Yeah. In the Ooh. sense that home is where you sleep this Yeah, time. yeah. <laughs> Who uh, among you, like, for example, uh, Bad Bunny, you did a wonderful uh, sketch with him where he uh, was dressed like Shrek. Yeah. And he yeah. was pitching you guys a Shrek sketch. Yeah. yeah. So I'm, I'm going to guess that one came up late at night. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, who among you has the first seed of this idea? That was Mart. Mart, Mart had yeah. that. And how does it come to you, Martin? Um, I think it was a panic <laughs> sort of <laughs> situation. Yeah. Uh, that one. But that one, we wrote it, we like maybe started it at like midnight or one, and then uh, we added some stuff throughout the course of the week, and then the final edit is exactly what we wrote at midnight. Oh, yeah. see, that happened yeah. a lot. Sometimes yeah. you, would, you would write something, it would get picked, and then you overwrite it. Yes. Totally. And then you realize, oh, weirdly, the <laughs> crazy idea we had was the best idea. Yeah. I will say, to your credit, Martin, that is a funny idea. <laughs> Were you worried when you came up with it? Oh, I bet a lot of other people are writing him as Shrek. As Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> it's so top of mind right now. It is. When you see Bad Bunny, you're like, what if? <laughs> um, all right, so the movie. Can yes. you guys want to set up uh, the premise of the film real quick? Yes, the movie, it was, it's crazy at SNL because we just play like Ben, John, and Martin, these like friends who work together. So in this movie, we got to play Ben, John, and Martin who work together. Yeah. Um, <laughs> For me, it was thrilling to see the departure. Yeah, yeah. it's nice. We have so much range. Yeah. <laughs> Did you ever consider giving yourself different names? No. Yeah. I mean, we, we it, thought about it for a second, but I couldn't imagine being like, Steve, don't do that. 
<laughs> Shut up, Eric. <laughs> we both went with Eric. Yeah. No, she did. Yeah, but the movie, it's, it's about three losers named Ben, Martin, and John. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not funny. <laughs> 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 Who, like, are feeling, feeling stuck in their lives, and they think the way to change that is to go out and find treasure yes. uh, on their local mountain. Kind of like Goonies for 27-year-olds. Yep. <laughs> It has a very nice, I mean, a ve I mean this in a genuine way, it has a very good uh, Goonies vibe. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And yeah, you, you told us that you watched it on your phone, right? I watched your movie on my phone, yes. <laughs> and the last time I watched uh, Goonies was, was on an airplane. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you uh, had some very good casting, uh, Ben, for your father. Um, and uh, yes. were you excited when this person said they would do this? I couldn't believe it. I'm uh, guessing it was like a, a their, your first thought was like, what if this person would say yes? Yeah. No, he was about 15th on the list. <laughs> and yeah, no, it was it was amazing. I mean, it I also kind of makes sense. I mean, if Conan O'Brien's gonna play any of your dads. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's very good. Yeah. He's so good. And he's weirdly never played a character in a movie. That yeah. is not Conan O'Brien. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So it was like the first time he got to, to Hopefully act. Hopefully, you like guys that. weren't judging that as you're still your own names. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've never played a character. <laughs> what? what a loser. <laughs> Ah. So, uh, I mean, it must have been so cool uh, when he said yes. And you, yeah. you guys get to sort of break him as an actor. I feel like that's really thrilling. Yeah, it was fun to, like, teach him how show business works. And, <laughs> totally. Uh, no, it was amazing. I mean, he's such a legend. We've all grown, grown up, up on his yeah. stuff. So it was, it was really cool. Uh, the clip was a, a very good example of my favorite thing in this movie is what, how lovingly you all just make fun of each other constantly. Mm -hmm. um, this is a very lovely through line in a lot of your shorts as well. Yep. And I think it works because we can tell you guys like each other. When you write <laughs> these jokes where you're just like laying into uh, your closest friends, yeah. is it ever uh, too close to the bone or is it always just joy? It's. Yeah, sometimes it hurts. Um, <laughs> what about something about how your head's really big? <laughs> Maybe. Um, we, had, I, we had something in, in one video where we called Martin like a melted Harry Potter action figure. Yeah. <laughs> and that one bordered on too mean. Yeah. Like, Just being like. <laughs> <laughs> I think most of the time the relief that we have thought of a joke. Uh, Out surmounts that. Oh, sort. right. Completely. So you're like, you don't even care that it's at your expense. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah, like, no. if this like, is a laugh, we will take it. works, put it in, yeah. it's done. Shoot we'll it. talk about it in 15 years in therapy. <laughs> we do not have to deal with this now. Yeah. Um, you guys also, uh, I'm just wondering, like, when you're on set, and obviously, uh, you know, uh, Judd was probably on set a fair amount of time. You got Conan on set. Like, and it's this movie you guys wrote. Yeah. Um, was it surreal, like, as you were uh, shooting this thing? Every day, was, uh, every day was a dream. Uh, I, I couldn't believe, we grew up on Judd's movies. Yeah. And to be able to do one with him was like uh, mind blowing. Also like 90% of our videos we shoot in like a 10 by 10 office. Yeah. Yes. And so we were like, there's a scene in the movie where I'm being flown up on a crane in a wingsuit, like on a mountain. And it's just like, the scale was it was crazy, and it was 102 degrees, like, every day. We were in North Carolina, and it was just, yeah, it was wild. <laughs> yeah, it was really hard. They say hard. at 102, you want to be in that wingsuit. Yeah, yeah definitely. They, had, they it, had umbrellas because the sun was too intense. I had a guy come up to me and said, uh, the science says if you take your shoes off, you'll cool down faster. Like, I, it was like a wax suit that was, like, <laughs> trapping all the heat in. I was being raised closer to the sun. Guys were like <laughs> pouring water bottles yeah. inside of me. Yeah. I was like, let's do another one. Let's go again. That, uh. that, uh, whatever a guy's like, uh, the science says, and it's like shoe related, it might not be a science. But... <laughs> yeah. yeah. You guys, uh, you did something very cool today, which I want everybody here to know. You put the first four minutes uh, of the movie on YouTube. Yes. So right now you can go and check it out. It, yes. uh, it's very funny from the second the movie starts, so I hope everybody will go do that and check that out. Thank you. Thank you so much. Just one long YouTube video, basically. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then uh, how are you, uh, my last thing uh, before I let you guys go, how are you feeling about this week? Are you excited about SNL as well? It must be a trippy week to be promoting a movie and also know that uh, Lauren doesn't care and he wants you to have a good Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> Lauren right now is probably like, oh, are they promoting their movie? <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
is the yeah, vibe. That's the vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guess what? You're not imagining it. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> we, no, we did the Tonight Show on Monday, and he was like, you're late for pitch. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's what he does. That's how he gets the best work out of you guys, and he certainly has. It's so uh, lovely to have you guys here. Congratulations on the movie. Congratulations on the You guys, that's John Higgins, Martin Hurley, Ben Marshall from Please Don't Destroy. Peacock, November 17th. That's right around the corner. Stick around. We'll be right back in my life.